Hi everyone, welcome to IMG Academy. My name is Elizabeth Doak. I'm part of the female tennis program here and this is our academic center. Here at IMG Academy, sports are very important. However, IMG also places a huge emphasis on education too. Here at IMG, you can take all of the core classes as well as many creative courses too. Now here we are at the front doors of the academic center. As you walk in, you're in the lobby, and here is the front desk. At the front desk, you have campus safety, which is helping you to be, make sure you're on a super safe campus, and you have student attendance, which you can go to if you're late to class or have any questions about your classes. Welcome to the library. Shh, be quiet. The library is a great place to get work done, especially because it's super quiet. You can come here during your free periods and get a lot of work done, or you can come here after school and get work done too. Connected to the library is the computer lab where you can get lots of research done. I once sat at this very desk for a good three hours doing a research project. And that's the library. And now we're gonna walk into the lobby and, oh, hi, Mr. Locke. Oh, hi, Elizabeth, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Excellent, thank you. Mr. Locke is the head of school here at IMG Academy. Can you tell me something about the academic center here? We want to make sure that the academic program is just as successful and challenging and rigorous as our athletic program so that when you leave the academy, you're just as prepared academically to go to a great college or university as you are prepared athletically, whether it's tennis in your case or any of our eight sports. We also just added a new academic wing. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. When we added the new space, we added 30,000 square feet, and it was for three main reasons. Number one was we added an English language center. So many of our students come from other countries, and English is not their first language. So we created about 10,000 square feet for students and eventually parents to be able to come in and learn English. In addition, we also added about 18 classrooms so we can have more breadth and depth to our curriculum. And lastly, and the thing that's the most exciting is we created a whole broadcast studio. Now we're on the third floor where the college placement and planning counselors are. Right here is a map of some of the schools that the class of 2019 went to. The college counselors doors are always open, but right now some of them are closed because they're meeting with other student athletes. The college counselors are always there to help you and will always have their doors open for you. So here we are now at the math wing where I'm gonna give you a tour. Um, one of my classes I take here is Algebra 2 Honors, which is right here. And we're going to jump inside to see what Ms. Cox, my teacher, is teaching. So this one that I'm teaching right now is Algebra 2 Honors. Um, and the next one after this would probably be Pre-Calculus Honors. And we offer AP Cal. We also, obviously, freshman and sophomore, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry. And here's the science wing. I'm going to take you through to one of my classes, which is Chemistry. Um, let's see what they're going on here. It looks like my teacher is free, so let's go inside and see what he has to offer. Yeah, so at IMG we have our core uh, science classes, which is like biology, physics, chemistry, and the like. And then as alternatives or elective classes, we have like marine biology, uh, what else? Anatomy, physiology, honors, AP chemistry, AP biology, uh, robotics as well as an option. So obviously sport is emphasized a lot in our lives, but a huge key role in our lives is also academics, and we take a lot of pride in that here. As you can see, we have one of our science options, or two of our science options. We have physics and we also have forensics, and uh, a cool idea, they did the caution signs on the door to emphasize the forensics. And then down here we have one of the forensics projects that they recently did, where they gave a little bit about their personal lives and their interest in a fingerprint, which is a really cool idea for a forensics project. So right now we're on the third floor, which you'll mainly find different social study classes. For me, I take American history this year, and you also have the English classrooms up here as well. For me, that's American literature honors this year. So as you can see from behind me, one of the classes started doing some project work on key dates in American history. And as a student coming over from Ireland, this is my first year and I've never taken American history before. So it's been interesting for me learning different dates and getting well versed in the topics of America's history. So right now I'm outside my economics class, which is my favorite class I'm taking right now in IMG. 
Um, I just find it really interesting on how different things affect another and the world economy and learning about it as it is going to affect all of us. Hey guys, thanks for coming on this tour with me. And now I'm going to pass you off to another student athlete who's going to bring you on a tour of another part of our academic centre. What's up guys, I'm DeMarco Cuffey and I'm a part of the football program here at IMG Academy. Right now we're outside of the robotics program here at IMG on the first floor. So right now we're in the robotics classroom and this is, this is where we are. You know, we have the middle, kid, middle schoolers projects right here. We have our project. Okay, well, so yeah, welcome. This is our robotics class. This is high school robotics. Uh, this is uh, where we're starting to build our robot from scratch from a kit. So this year we have a new program with FIRST Robotics. So that's a, a national and international competitive robotics program. So they have a game that they have to design a robot for. So at the beginning of this class, we kind of build, uh, we start learning about the history of robotics and we learn how to solder and we do a whole bunch of hands-on stuff. Yeah, so we have some uh, CAD-related uh, three-dimensional modeling that we do in this class and that leads us to things like laser cutting and 3D printing. We also have even a CNC router that can cut out flat materials, it can cut out shapes if we need to use that for our robots. Uh, and then we have the 3D printers that we can do all sorts of actually completely three-dimensional shapes with as well. Hi, I'm Gabby Anderson. I am a part of the girls basketball program here at IMG Academy. I will be taking you through the art wing today. So, as you can see on the walls, we have lots of art and lots of portraits just from past classes. And then this is a drawing one class. Right now we're spaced out because of COVID, but as you can see, they're hard, hard at work. So if you just keep coming, I mean, there's lots of mediums. If you can't tell, that one's just some dry sketching. And as we keep going, you can just see lots of different art classes. They also do media. These are just media. They're supposed to be ads for anything you want them to be. Another interesting thing about the art program is that many different athletes come together because in the class, it's a, a lot of collaborative work. Behind me is my digital art class. Um, I actually decided to take this class because I've always been into art ever since I was younger. It's always been a way for me to release stress and structure my life in a very unstructured way. And I've figured out that art can really help with problem solving and help you with more life skills. Miss Kite, Miss Kite. Hi, Miss Kite. <laughs> hey, talk to us some more about digital art and all your other art programs. Okay, so uh, interdisciplinary art. I've, I've been teaching with IMG since 2011, and when I came on board here, I realized that we really should have another opportunity to have more technology within the art department. So I realized that with the plethora of different uh, platforms of technology use in this class, they were able to actually learn how to use technology to make art, and then to turn that digital art into actual physical art giving the opportunity to understand all the different ways that you can create art. Let me take you outside. I do find as an art teacher, it's interesting. These kids are kinesthetic learners. They're already moving. They're already ready to do their hands dirty. Um, they're very competitive. It's an amazing environment to have in the classroom as well. And I think that it provides a lot of, um, it's, it's, their, it's their place. You guys feel at home in the classroom and they get to be themselves, so. As we continue, I mean, you can see some artwork that we'll do later on in my class. Um, this class has also helped me in the way that I customize shoes. So I have a business called Graffiti by Gabby, and it really just entails me putting on a design for whatever my customer asks for and making their shoe look beautiful. Um, this class has really helped me because it's helped me create mock-ups on my iPad, and so I can send out how the shoe is going to look before I actually start the shoe. And it has really helped me get some more small details and really make my process more precise. Um, my Instagram handle is at Graffiti by Gabby. Thank you all so much for coming on the tour here at the Academic Center at IMG Academy. We hope you guys learned so much as we learn so much here every single day. We hope to see you soon. Bye.